lung scarring causes and symptoms scars on the lung tissue cause it to thicken and lose the electricity of healthy lung tissue doctors call this pulmonary fibrosis lung scars can result from illness or medical treatment and they are permanent small scars may not cause noticeable symptoms but extensive scarring can make it hard for a person to breathe as it can affect the transfer of oxygen into the blood stream as a result the brain and other organs may not receive the oxygen that they need idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis is a long term condition in which lung scarring becomes gradually worse it can be life life threatening in this video we look at why lung scarring happens and discuss some of the treatment options available several conditions can cause scarring of the lungs interstitial lung disease interstitial lung disease involves inflammation of the air sacs or the web of tissue or interstitium that surrounds them in the lungs the inflammation can sometimes cause scar tissue to build up within the lungs resulting in fibrosis idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis is the most common type of interstitial lung disease if doctors describe a condition as idiopathic idiopathic this means that they do not know exactly what causes it Idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis typically appears between the ages of 50 to 70 years. It affects 13 to 20 people in every 1 lakh worldwide, according to the National Library of Medicine. Other causes and risk factors. Other risk factors include previous viral infection or pneumonia, gastroesophageal reflux disease or acid reflux. smoking older age tuberculosis exposure to asbestos or silica chemotherapy radiation therapy to the chest cavity in some cases there may be a family history of the disease some people experience exacerbations during which symptoms suddenly worsen this last for a while and then resolve exposure to triggers such as tobacco smoke may cause a flare symptoms and complications the scarring of lung tissue makes it thick and stiff as the lung tissue thickens it becomes increasingly difficult for the body to transfer oxygen from the lungs into the blood stream As a result the brain and other organs may not receive enough oxygen the symptoms depend on the amount of scarring and how much of the lung it affects but they may include shortness of breath especially during or after physical activity a persistent dry cough tiredness weight loss and loss of appetite rounded and swollen fingertips and nails or clubbing fever chills night sweats scarring may also increase the risk of lung cancer idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis the symptoms of idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis may not be noticeable at first but they tend to develop and worsen over time making it increasingly difficult to breathe eventually pulmonary hypertension or respiratory failure can develop both of which can be life threatening because they prevent oxygen from reaching the body's organs treatment as with scars on the skin scars on the lung are permanent it is not usually possible to remove them the lungs are resilient however and small scars often do not cause any adverse effects proper diagnosis and monitoring of the scars is key to treatment scars that remain unchanged 
for two years or more are not usually a cause for concern. However, if they spread, they could indicate pulmonary fibrosis. Idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. Currently, a lung transplant is the only cure for idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. However, a doctor can prescribe medications to help slow the progression of the disease and prevent flares. As the disease progresses, the symptoms can become more severe. They can also worsen during a flare. In these cases, a person may need to spread time in the hospital. Treatment will include supplemental oxygen to support the person's breathing. Occasionally, a doctor may recommend a transplant. This procedure can cure the condition, but the person will need to take medications for the rest of their life.